Welcome to World Box. My name is Gorg, and today we're going to have a humongous thousand year war. Note this world that I downloaded is already at year 800, so that will be something you want to keep an eye on going forward is that when we hit year 1000 in this world, it's not really been a thousand years. We're going a thousand years from right now. This world is really nice looking. I got it off the official World Box Discord. I'll link the Discord in the description, or you can just search it on Discord. There's a nice place for all the biomes. There's actually a really big savanna. It's like the biggest biome here, maybe tied with grass. A little corrupted biome kind of in the mountains next to a little enchanted biome. So really nice looking map. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all four races and kind of give them a lot of space to grow. And we're going to let them go for a long time. I'm going to put humans in the grasslands. I'm not really going to count how many I do. I don't think it matters that much. Let's put orcs in the savanna. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking elves in the jungle, and then I'm thinking the dwarves. I kind of want to put them up in the mountains, but it doesn't really make sense for them to be in the mushroom biome, so let's put them up kind of in here. Okay, I think I put more dwarves than everyone else, but that might have been on purpose. Hey, there we go. Uh, there's probably roughly about 100 each, but like I said, I did not really count. Um, and let's put, I don't know, let's put some demons out here maybe. Maybe some... Fire towers, if anyone dares get close. I want this to feel like a real fantasy world. Let's put some fairies out here. I don't think I want to put any tumors on this map. Let's put some skeletons just kind of in the general mountain passes. Once the corrupted biome gets going, it's not going to need any help, of course, but eh, let's, put a, let's put a necromancer in there, even if he just dies. Let's put some bandits up in the mountains. Put some cold ones out here. And maybe an ice tower or two. Like I said, I want this to be very thorough. Let's put some druids. Put some druids in this enchanted biome. Um, a white mage lives in the mountains. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's put a roaming pack of wolves. And let's put a couple bears. Um, I also want to make some small colonies. So we have the main dwarves over here. But let's make a second colony of dwarves up here. That's like 20 of them. And then same for humans. We got the main ones out here. Let's put, just put like a small colony off of the side. Next to the mountains. And then elves we put in the jungle over here. So let's put some up in the high part of the jungle up in the mountains. And then same thing for the orcs. The bulk of them are way back here. But let's put some out here. Boom. I'm really happy with how this is looking. Let's go ahead and save it just in case something goes horrendously wrong. Okay, we're at year 800, so we're gonna go till 2000. We will be watching what happens. We're not just gonna skip everything. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start the world just normal speed. Let's go times three. Get an idea of how everyone sets up. There's so many explosions. What's going on? Oh, the bandits. Okay, a lot is happening already. I think I put too many bandits, dude. I forgot that they have bombs. How's it going over here? Demons just doing demon things. Looking pretty evil. Something I will eventually do is connect some more of these rivers, but I do want to keep them landlocked for a little while. You know what? Let's, let's erase a couple bandits. I realize I put too many. I forgot that they do so much. I don't mind a few of them throwing dynamite at people. They get too close, but I don't want <laughs> everyone just getting nuked by dynamite the whole game until they like invent bows. Okay, I'm surprised the humans spread out so much. I put like a hundred in the middle, but they spread into a bunch of tiny villages. Oh, a bunch of them got killed. Dude, the necromancer is doing some work. This is actually gonna be a huge problem for the humans. I think the humans got the worst starting spot. It's technically the best, but it, since it's in the middle, they're surrounded by all the danger. <laughs> the dwarves are looking pretty good for themselves. Proud of you. How the elves doing? Again, it looks like a lot of them died. Some of them moved up into the mountains, though. Interesting. Yeah, for the amount of population I started a lot of them with, it looks like there was some growing pains in getting started, for sure. All right, let's give it some speed, because this is going to go slow for a little while. Grow, my kingdoms. Grow. All right, it's been about 100 years. Let's see how we're looking. Everyone's population increased pretty steadily. Um, the dwarf village out here split into two. 
and they've grown up into the mountains, which is cool. I think all of the bandits have been eliminated, which is nice. We actually get some peace and quiet. There's a bunch of cows over here now. The humans are doing really well for themselves. Thank goodness, I thought maybe I made it too hard for them. The necromancer is still doing his thing out here in the corrupted biome, and people keep foolishly attacking and just making more ghosts and skeletons. So that is definitely going to be a difficult border. Either the orcs or the humans will eventually need to cross if they want to keep expanding. But uh, we'll see if they're ever able to do that. The elves have pretty much taken up this whole area over here, including their little uh, mountain village, which I think is real nice looking. Um, orcs population is probably number one right now, I would think. Maybe followed by the dwarves who are doing really well for themselves. Thank goodness. The demons are still doing demon things and somehow... Two of their towers have been destroyed, so I'm not sure what happened there, but I don't know. The cold ones are still roaming the mountainside. No one's ventured out there yet, really. And now we are going to do what I said earlier, and that is connect some areas together. Because there's lots of areas that you can't really get to. And I want people to have the option. Do I dare connect this? Oh, it looks like they already can get there. Let's just make it a little bit easier. Okay, continuing on. A lot of the world has been connected. I'm tempted to connect this, but maybe we'll wait till another 100 years before we do that. Because then they're going to start dealing with the demons. And that sounds like a bad time. All right, let's give it some more time, shall we? All right, it's been another 100 years. Let's see how we're looking. Everyone continues to expand. I'm really happy the humans ended up with this village up here. I'm actually surprised by that. They ended up with the enchanted biome. I guess they killed all the druids, which wasn't very nice. Actually, the druids look like they just moved around. I don't know, there's one over here. I don't know where the druids went, but there's one out here. I don't know if they all died or got killed or what, but this is human territory now. The orcs are still doing their thing. Elves, same thing. Again, I like this mountain village. I'm happy they have it. The dwarves have began to kind of expand closer to the humans. They're getting pretty close. They're doing really well. Their population is very high. They've even got boats. Look at that. Good for them. Um, we got some neighbors over here. Cute. The inaccessible demon island will probably be accessed soon by boat, or eventually I might just connect it with some bridges. Humans are inching their way up into the mountains over here, and getting closer and closer to the cold ones, which I think they've killed a few of already. Overall, I'm rather pleased. I'm going to go ahead and display the events now. There's a lot of wars being declared. Alright, let's give it some more time. Alright, another hundred years has passed. I can feel my computer starting to have a harder time keeping up. Uh, let's check out where we're at here. We got orcs and humans fighting in the mountains. They're defending their enchanted little uh, grove here. Something tells me the orcs will eventually take it over, but maybe they'll be able to hold on to it. Corrupted biome still a disaster for everyone, although they have burned quite a bit of it, so they're on the right track. This village was destroyed. I don't know exactly what destroyed it i don't think it was the elves let's take a look at our kingdom relations here interesting are the elves fighting themselves yeah they are there's a little elf battle going on here interesting the humans and the dwarves are fighting are these orcs way up here what the heck there's a orc village on the demon island and like a big one too, 58. Dude, they came all the way from all the way down here. They went right past the humans. Good work, you know? Good for you. The orcs are also fighting against themselves pretty heavily. They don't really get along. It feels like every kingdom is in war with at least one of their neighboring ones. Although this, this one, AO Sad, they're friends with everybody. Oh, not anymore. Just kidding. Ah, how did the elves get way over here? I really like this village. I think they've got a really good setup. They've got enchanted biome. And only place people can come from is like four different entrances through the mountains. These humans are wasting so many of their troops on this corrupted biome though. I know that maybe eventually they'll push through, but I don't know if it's worth it necessarily. The dwarves are up to something. Maybe not. Maybe. Perhaps. Oh, here we go. They're on the move. It's just so many constant little battles. It seems like everyone, because of how wide open everything is, pretty much everyone's under attack by someone. 
from somewhere <laughs> at all times. Bunch of kings just died. Bunch of new kings just popped up. Oh, actually, the elves took over this area. This is elves now. This used to be orcs. Nice. The corrupted biome is pretty full of people at this point. The problem is, as long as there is the actual corrupted biome, like terrain, the ghosts will always come back because there will always be people dying in here. But at least if they can clear them out once for a while, they can at least travel freely between it until they inevitably get a bunch more ghosts. Let's go Sonic Speed again, and let's try to keep our eyes out for any big pushes. I know we're going to be dropping some frame rate here, so just bear with me. There's a lot going on over here. Attacking the dwarves. The orcs have really made a name for themselves on the demon island. I wonder if they'll eventually like sail around and get to the demons. Let's actually let's actually go like this. Let's be a, let's be a little troll. There, be free, demons. Do whatever you want. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. They're gonna start losing some population here, but they are ready for it. Maybe. All right, that might wipe out the village. The whole thing is gonna be Demon Island. Looks like the cold ones have been killed off, and now the orcs travel pretty freely through the mountains, inevitably, and they've got villages on both sides. Oh, this village got taken out, or at least everyone in there is dead. <laughs> it doesn't even show as a village. Huh, funny. Corrupted biomes, pretty empty of ghosts. There's just, it looks like elves and humans fighting in there. Let's let it run for a little while and see if we have any kingdoms getting wiped out. Okay, let's see here. I noticed the population on this one dropping really fast. It was at like 150 a second ago, and now we're down to 70. What is killing you guys? Are you guys just leaving? You're doing it to yourselves. Just stay in here. It's safe in here. Just don't go out. I'm really impressed by the elves taking over this whole area, and then 400 population? Like, wow, boys. And then taking over this area, like, they're wiping out the orcs. The orcs have pushed up the edge here through the mountains, and the elves have just pushed in both directions. The humans, I think, are in the worst situation out of everyone. This is the bulk of their population, and as you can tell, it ain't looking too good. And with this getting slowly wiped out, yeah, it's not looking good for them. Humans might be gone before long. The uh, orcs were taken out by the demons, as expected, but there's only a few demons left, so that's good news. The dwarves are trucking along. I feel like they're not doing that well for themselves, considering how well everyone else is doing. They're doing fine, but I just feel like this village should be a little bit bigger, considering this is where they started, like, 500 years ago. Corrupted Biome is pretty much empty. Yeah, the orcs are all in one big blob down here now, with a little bit up here. They've just been shoved to the corner. Population-wise, the elves have the most, probably by double, honestly. This is all them. So as long as they can get along amongst themselves, I think they could take this win. Are these elves way out here? Holy smokes. What are you planning? Uh-oh. There's no way they hold this off. Except this always happens. Half the army always leaves right afterwards. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That entire village wiped out in a blink of an eye. Wow. Rest in peace. Okay, this village is pulling through. They're back up to 100. Let's keep it that way, all right? You're the last hope for the humans. You've got a great, easily defensible location. Just stay there. Just don't go anywhere. Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, dude, the humans are not looking good. Elves are just dancing around them, making it look easy. Uh-oh, is this what I think it is? Oh no, <laughs> the corrupted biome is once again full of skeletons and ghosts. You fools, why can't we have peace? Yeah, well, that's gonna be a problem for them for a while. The humans uh, are actually pulling it together, and this village, although being a little bit destroyed, no big deal, they're actually expanding outwards into the valley, which is interesting next to their, I uh, hope, allies, but I'm too lazy to check. This freaking boat, uh, yeah, not a great spot for a dock, but bless your heart. Let's connect a few more spots, I think. Maybe it's time. Maybe here, maybe here. That's really everything, honestly. There's not much else that needs to be connected. Maybe like that, just for simplicity. That for ease, that for ease. Who really cares, you know what I mean? The orcs are still going pretty strong. But this village is so terrifying. Almost 600 population. Is that 600 people all stacked on top of each other? <laughs> Dear Lord, have mercy. Man, they're down to 20. I don't even really see who's attacking them. I think it's just that they keep getting all antsy and pushing out and getting killed by the orcs. The orcs really haven't pushed in very much beyond like 
one every now and then. So silly. Oh, look at that. Nice work. And they have a windmill now? They will definitely be winning the war. Dude, the elves. Holy moly, dude. They Their population is insane. They just need to work together because I think that there are little conflicts going on between them because they are different kingdoms still. If they could unite, then it's all over, dude. The dwarves are having a really hard time expanding. They're also, looks like they're in a fight with themselves, perhaps? I don't know. Looks like they were fighting something, but I think they're good now. I cannot tell. They're all hurting themselves on the mountain. I don't know. They're all dying rapidly. The dwarves are kind of falling apart. Demon Island have, has been pretty much completely scorched over. Um, no one has really attempted to go there since the incident. Probably for the best. We all know how that goes. Oh, we got some orcs pushing it over here. Oh, wow, look at that. Another village getting destroyed. Let's give it a little more time. Let's give it a minute. Wait, we got them holding on by one over here? The elves took over the enchanted biome. Dang, they're moving in quick too. That's significant. The population on these two villages has fluctuated so much, but it's pretty low. 30? 60? Some shenanigans going on in here. Shenanigans. I don't know. I'm wondering if this will ever end. All right, it's been over a thousand years. It's actually been 1300 years or more. I'm ready to... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Elves? Killing everyone right now? I think this could just go on forever. I mean, as usual. So let's drop some dragons in there, shall we? The civilizations are super advanced, so honestly, dragons will not be much of an issue. But let's just drop a few. We did put a lot, so maybe it will be an issue. But let's see. Time for a nap. Okay, people getting wiped out. What the heck? Oh, is it because that army pushed out here? Did they all die? Oh, they're just all spread out everywhere. What are you guys doing? The humans seem to have dealt with their dragons pretty quick. Unless I just didn't really put any over here. I don't even see scorch. I see a couple scorch marks, but they're totally fine. Oh no. Dang, the dragons are getting killed. Why did they all start? Why are they bullying the elves? There's so many over here. Come on, guys. Yikes. Okay, there's another one dead. You got this, elves. Pull through. I don't know. This is going to go on forever. I'm going to say... It was definitely between orcs and elves before dragons. The humans obviously lost. This is their only thing they have left in here. Let's see how quickly they kill this dragon. They don't really have any bows. <laughs> what the heck? What are you guys doing? I don't know what I can do to make this have a satisfying conclusion. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed just watching the world evolve. After the first couple hundred years, things didn't really change. A lot changed in the first little bit. You know, the humans were over here and these guys moved up the coast up here. The dwarves kind of pushed in and then got pushed back. The elves took over this whole area. A lot happened, but I think we've kind of just hit a point where everyone isn't really doing anything. And I don't really feel like going on another 5,000 years. So hopefully that was fun to watch. Just a big fantasy world battle each other. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.